Hello engineers, in this video we will use Azure Load Testing in order to perform load tests on websites. If you enjoy the content I create and you want to support me for free, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. Azure Load Testing is a solution that Microsoft provides in order to perform load testing on websites. It's a simplified cloud-based tool that also supports Apache JMeter configurations. You can get started with Azure Load Testing by searching Azure Load Testing on Azure. Then you should create a new instance by pressing the Create button and specifying some options like the resource group on which you want to place this Azure Load Testing instance, the region, the name which will have this instance and also the encryption on which you can use the default which is Microsoft Managed Keys. When you have your Azure Load Testing instance ready, you can go and click on the instance and select tests in order to create a new test for your website. The first option would be to select a create a quick test. Then you should specify the URL on which you want to perform the load testing and the number of virtual users that you want this test to have. Then you can select the test duration in seconds for this test and also the ramp up seconds. The ramp up period is the time it will take to ramp up the total number of virtual users entered. So for my testing, I will use my website and then I will select five virtual users as the default. And also I will use uh, 60 seconds as the test duration. And then I will click the run test. When I click the run test, then the load testing will create a new pane for me and we will see the results of the test after the execution. When the execution finishes, you can get some response data as the request, the URL which you indicated, and also the average second of the request and the response time that this load test happened. As you can see, the average response time for my homepage was around 14 milliseconds and also the virtual users that performed the load was around 5 as we indicated in the configuration data. The second option for the load testing would be to use a JMeter compatible script. You can do that by pressing the create button and then upload a JMeter script. Then you will need to enter a test description for this script, let's call it test, and then press the next. Then we will need to choose the test plan for our operating system, which will be the JMX file. After selecting the JMX file, we will need to press upload for this one and then press next. Then we can specify some environmental variables as parameters to provide secret certificate and also some key vault reference. I don't have this option enabled, so I don't want to edit something on these panes. Then in the load tab, we can select engine instances, which be the number of test engines that we require to run the test. So we can select multiple engines that will run this test and also select the traffic mode, public or private. As I want to test publicly my website, I will need to select the public endpoint, which means that my website, which is a public website, will be load tested from a public source. Then I will select next and I will not put something in the test criteria or monitoring. In the test criteria, you can specify the performance expectation of the system under test, which means that if you have a response time, which is, for example, lower than the threshold, then you can specify that the test failed for this particular execution. Finally, you can review and create this load test based on the JMeter upload file. And as you can see, Azure Load Testing validates the JMX file and then will create a test run for this particular JMX configuration that you uploaded. Shortly after the test run will begin after the engines are provisioned for this particular test and the results will appear on the screen.